here we are. Oh, how appropriate. Probably will. How apropos. How apropos. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Flow in the wind. Flutter. Majestic as sh Oh, yeah. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Sarah, isn't it a little late to be posting a Burns Night video? I mean, that was weeks ago. What? Oh, you don't actually know what Burns Night is at all? Okay. Right. Robert Burns is a late 18th century Scottish poet and lyricist. If you think you're not familiar with his work, you are wrong. He wrote Old Lang Syne, that song people always sing when it's New Year's Eve in a movie. He wrote the poem To a Mouse, which contains that famous line about the best laid schemes of mice and men. And he wrote Afton Waters, which you probably know of as Sweet Afton if you're a folk music fan. Burns' birthday is January 25th, but a Burns night, also called a Burns Supper, can also take place on his death day of July 21st. Burns night celebrations have literally been around since Burns' own time, first started by his friends just after his death. That's over 200 years of celebrations. He was a really good poet. My friends Bethany McLean threw a burn supper this year, just a few days after his birthday. We observed a few of the traditions, including drinking scotch, obviously, and reciting some of Burns' poetry. Traditionally, the host will do a recitation of Burns' poem to a haggis before serving the haggis. Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. Aboon the ma you take your place, bench tripe or therm. Weel are you worthy of a grace, as lends me arm. The groan and trencher, there you feel, your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need. Will throw your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife see rustic labor, dight, and cut ye up with ready slight. Those familiar with haggis will notice that ours looks pretty different from the usual bundle of sheep guts variety. My hosts are vegetarians, so we had a vegetarian version, which was delicious. I honestly hope someday I get a chance to try the real thing, even though... Sheep's guts? We also had the traditional meats and tatties, turnips and mashed potatoes, along with plenty of scotch, beer, and cider to go around. After dinner, we got to my favorite part of the evening, reading poetry aloud. Quick disclaimer. Okay, we're Americans. We tried to pronounce the dialect correctly without mangling it too much. Be gentle. First, our host McLean read, A man's a man for all that. Is there for honest poverty that hings his head and all that? The coward slave we pass him by, we dare be poor for all that. For all that and all that, our toils obscure and all that. The rank is but the guinea's stamp, the man's the gout for all that. What though unhamely fair we dine, we're hot and gray and all that. He fools their silks and knaves their wine. A man's a man for all that. Then I read my favorite, To a Mouse, on turning her up in her nest with the plow, November 1785. We slick it, cowering, timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic's in thy breastie. Thou needna start away so hasty with bickering brattle. I would be laith to rin and chase thee with murder and paddle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle. At me, thy poor earthborn companion and fellow mortal. And my brother read The Fornicator. Yes, that is the title of the poem. Ye jovial boys who love the joys, the blissful joys of lovers, yet dare avow with dauntless brow when the bo bonny lass discovers. I pray draw near and lend an ear and welcome in a freighter, for I've lately been on quarantine, a proven fornicator. <laughs> After the poetry, my brother and I did an impromptu performance of Sweet Afton. My Mary's asleep by thy murmuring stream. Flow gently, sweet Afton, disturb not her dream. And as it ends of the evening, as tradition dictates, we all sang all blank sign. Oh,
poetry and I love music and food and sharing all those things with friends so burn suppers are right up my street. If you want to learn more about Robert Burns or Burns Suppers, the history, or about putting on your own, uh, I included a couple links in the down there, uh, but also see if there is a Scottish association in your area, uh, they may be able to help you find someone who already puts one on. If you want to put on your own, I highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun, um, reading poetry with friends is really fun, P pick another poet and find out when their birthday is, make a food from where they were born or that they mentioned in their poetry, and read poetry with your friends. Have a, another, have a Dickinson night. You know, have a Gaiman night. I don't know, have a, have poetry, friends. Have it, it's for you.